Well, it's Biden Express from El Paso to regional airports, including Westchester. I blew the lid on this in August. Uh, then the New York Post did a big story, and those flights stopped for a while. Now they're back. And in fact, they're not at the other side of the airport where they were, where it was more visible to the public. They're now moving closer to the terminal. They're taking these planes into these FBOs, these hangars, and then the buses put, uh, you know, leave the airport. So it's really out of view. But we follow these buses and we know where they're going. They're going to rest stops and, and you know, opening up and people are getting out and going into cars and going. And it's just, it's, it's not only absurd, but it is a complete lack of respect for Americans because now we've got people that they're labeling as refugees. They're not refugees. They're not asylum. It is really just people coming over the border illegally. And no matter where they go, they're going to get help from the United States government. Here in New York, Kathy Hochul, our unelected governor, has a $2 billion fund in our New York state budget to make sure that they get everything that they need while they're here. That's a magnet. That's an invitation to continuously cross the border. And you're going to get flown up here with a phone, of course, that you get at the border and then everything else. We also have $200 million she put in the budget for those who are 65 and older to make sure you get on Medicaid if you're illegal. So it's just, you know, it's absurd. There's really no distinction anymore between what is the definition of a citizen versus a non-citizen in this country under Biden?